What's up, besties? It's your girl Morgan here, and you're listening to Your Internet Best Friend. What is up, besties? Today, I'm joined by the one, the only, the girl who showed up on my doorstep uninvited, Alex Shaywillette. I actually was invited. I, d- I, like, I didn't. I would I, like to Al- clarify that. I did not I texted invite you. you. And I said, may I borrow a swimsuit for Hawaii? And you go, if you'll be on my podcast. Okay. Remember, Alex, so you texted me. I did not. <laughs> I did not say, hey, girl, come to Nashville. <laughs> let's hang out. You said, I'm going to fly to Nashville so I can borrow your clothes. No. You said, wow, your presence is going to be so near me. I must utilize this to the best of my ability. <laughs> Come on my podcast. And You're I right. said, okay, okay, here I am. We'll let the people decide how this story went down. But my big sister, um, my best friend, the one I argue with more than anyone else, she's on the podcast third time, Alex. Are you so thrilled to be here? It just shows that you need me. <laughs> Okay. Um, Yes, I do need you on the podcast because people do love hearing your wild fly the tenant stories. I would like to point out in order for me to get you on this podcast, it takes a lot. In fact, everyone in our family, mom, dad just flat out refuses. He doesn't even barter with me. He just says, absolutely not. (laughs) I had to buy you a pair of Nike shoes, which You can't see her feet, hopefully, on this podcast, but she wore her crusty old ones, (laughs) even though I just bought her. In my humble defense, you were running late and you said, throw on whatever shoes. And I said, okay, like, I'm going to, I'm not going to like unbox the new shoes. Yeah, because we were about to walk out the door and you weren't wearing shoes. (laughs) Like, who doesn't put on shoes? Why would when I, they're getting ready. Why would I wear shoes in a dirty house? Like, I'm not going to, like, bring oh, germs into the house. Oh, do not call my home dirty. I just had, um, her name is, I don't even remember her name, but she just cleaned my apartment. She's a lovely human. Let's give the people, they know all about my life at this point, but we don't, you're like, um. What am I, Morgan? I'm trying to think of a good analogy of, like, what you are. I was going to say you're kind of like a what am I, Morgan? <laughs> I can't what think of a horrible good, thing you're about to call me, Morgan. I was going to call you like a tarantula. Like you just, <laughs> like you just kind of come out at random moments. It's like that'd be a cockroach. It's oh, like- well, you're insulting yourself <laughs> now. Okay, you're this elusive cockroach that just like sometimes, or like a raccoon. Okay, whatever. Which I think is like valid. Like I don't sleep at night. Raccoons are very nocturnal. Okay, whatever. And they just kind of like. Like steal a bunch of stuff from the trash can. I steal a bunch of stuff from your closet, and then I sure. retreat. You're like this elusive raccoon. You sometimes pop up on social media. You're pretty private online. Like some days you're in Malaysia, some days you're in New Zealand. So I don't know. I literally had to ask you before we did this podcast. Like, where are you going tomorrow? Like, where's your home right now? Um. So just give me like a little life update for the people and for me, because I actually don't know either. Well, since we last talked, I did not have a home and I'm pleased to announce I still do not have a home. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I work out of San Francisco still. I am dating someone in Colorado. Mm. I live in Texas. And by live, I mean I have a closet in Texas that I store my clothes and I just kind of like bop around. That's that's the update. Really, nothing's changed. Like I just I just Re- am split it, between three states. Oh, still. really? Nothing has changed. I like how you just subtly snuck in the middle of that sentence. And I have a home. Oh, I'm dating someone okay. in Denver. Well, oh, in like my, I'm here. That's different. I that's mean, a new development. Normally, I don't talk about my dating life unless dragged on the podcast and forced. Well, guess beyond what? My you will. were dragged on a podcast. Um, yeah. Well, I guess I am normally very private. Um, I guess I mean, I don't really know what you're wanting me to say. Like I am I dating someone spill, and I already know he's going to listen to this podcast. I want so you hi. to spill the tea. You don't actually have to spill the tea, but I will say I got a lot of messages whenever I posted that you're coming on the podcast because this is like very non-Alex. Like the very, you almost pulled a Morgan where on Valentine's Day, okay. you hard launch someone on your stories. Yeah. You know what? Like a hard my launch. Th- I've realized with social media, my favorite thing now, like I don't post, I probably post like maybe one time a week on my story. I have more fun just like kind of popping up and just dropping stuff. And then like, I'll be like, oh, I'm in Taipei. And then I just like run away for seven days and then I like post again so I kind of just like dropping bombs and then just like not check like, if anyone messages me I don't check my dms I I, I am like so that. not active on social media but I have fun just kind of like being like hey what's up it's me this is what's going on and then I just dip 
So that's kind of what I did. Okay. So you did that and you hard launched a boyfriend. Can you give us like, I mean, I did not you, come on this podcast to discuss <gasps> this human who I, he's probably dying right now. Can you just, to can these. you just tell people like how you guys met? There we go. That's a, that's, that will give people a taste of, we, that'll uh, satisfy. Fine. We hiked a mountain together. Ew. <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> yeah. Um, wait, wait, yeah. wait, okay, wait, can you just share this story? If not, I'm going to share it because I'll just actually share it. So you're not oversharing. I'll overshare for you. But Alex, what, what are you about to overshare? Because like how, while I'm on a podcast, these things were not discussed. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> I sprung that one on you. Can I say how he asked you to be his girlfriend? Because that's just li- my literal worst okay, nightmare. Okay, the thing about Morgan is Morgan is like a simp for like anything romantic, which I is am. ironic because you really don't like date people. I'm like, why are you not on the dating apps? Like, like Ew, you gross. just, I mean, I feel like if you want like flowers delivered to you on a weekly basis, like you could probably get on the dating apps and have that happen. Yeah, well, have you seen the pool of men in Nashville? <laughs> Ain't none of them delivering me flowers on a weekly basis. Regardless. Um, anyways, you love, love. I do. You I do love, 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 which is why I like this story, just, but it also makes me giggle because, okay. So Alex, whatever she messaged, actually don't even remember. Okay. Well, she messaged me and, and she announces she's a boyfriend and I'm like, S- what? Uh, okay. I think I just text. Well, you already knew I was, you were pretty up to date on the people I talked to. I didn't to. know that you like were like officially dating someone. That is a big deal. That is the, I talked about the Willette curse on a past podcast. Um, <laughs> congratulations. Now the weight's on my the shoulders. Way you're ta- Morgan, the way you're talking about this, you're acting like I have an engagement ring. I am a, quite simply, it's just like, like dating someone, but I am. Yeah, Alex, that's a big deal for both of us. Okay. You know, how, <laughs> what, you know I mean, our I track record's like- not great. For you. Excuse me. <laughs> I feel like, I feel like I, actually, you know what? This is, <laughs> no, 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 it's fine. No homegirl. No, 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 no. I, I don't know if you remember the very first about. podcast you came on talking about all of your dating horse. I stories. go on a lot, of, or I used to go on a lot of dates. Yes, you did. Yes. Okay, congratulations. And I'm very well, picky. We have been single. It's We were actually talking about this. It is so odd, like our sister telepathy. As opposite as we are. Like, There's a name for that. Sister telepathy. Well, yeah. Okay, continue, actually. Whatever. We have. It, it is strange that our lives seem to line up at the same time as like the things that we're going through i think what you're trying to say is you're stuck with me forever no that's like absolutely not. not what i'm saying but i'm <laughs> i'm saying we tend to go through single phases at the same time we tend to be talking to guys at the same time we tend to be going through breakups at the same time it really is strange i guess that is true like the last big breakup you and i was went at through the was at the exact same time, time which is very odd yeah. then we went through a single phase at the exact same time we went through our and then la phase we went through an la phase and now you're like officially dating someone at the same time i would love to be officially dating i'm i'm <laughs> like opposite of you i'm like i want to rock on my hand Hint. tomorrow oh see and i'm like very much like and see this is where not things don't worried add about up. stuff like that don't even think about stuff like that i just take it day by day well, maybe that's what i need to do but be more like me morgan no i <laughs> simply would <laughs> rather not the anyways the point of my whole entire story where i got sidetracked on this tangent is alex tells me she has a boyfriend whatever when I think of a guy asking me to be his girlfriend, I think because of my past relationship with Voldemort, I never got that. Like there was never an official, will you be my girlfriend? So in the future, moving forward, that's so important to me. Just that simple question. Doesn't need to be elaborate, but I like the idea of it, it being is romantic. Nice. It is nice when a guy, like, and he comes to that decision on his own without having to like be like almost like prodded by a right. girl. Right. It doesn't need like, to be a just, girl like, being like, hey, are you going to ask me? Of it. Yeah. Uh, to me, that's like very mature of a guy. And I think that shows yeah. his initiative and how much he cares about you and wants to take it seriously. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, because I never got that, it is important to me. Um, so when Alex says, you know what? <laughs> well, I am acting like you got engaged. You did. Yeah. She's You're acting like I'm like a married woman right now. I have been in you, a... Re- whatever. You broke the Willette curse. And I think it's a big deal. Anyway, she she tells me, she's like, oh, he asked me to be his girlfriend. You said it very chill. And I was like, oh my God, give me the details. I gasped. I don't think um, he even gave you details. You said he 
picked me up from the airport. We oh, drove we drove that. through the night. We hiked up a mountain. Okay. And as the sun mountain. was rising and I'm listening to this and I'm like, <laughs> disgusting. This is my literal worst nightmare. I swear if a man picked me up and was like, guess what? We're not going home. You're not showering. You're not changing. We're driving through the night. You're hiking your ass up a mountain. I'd say, I don't ever want to talk to you ever again. <laughs> So this is how we differ. Well, Morgan, this is why you and I have wildly different tastes than men. Oh, my God. Precisely. Like, but I'm I'm so me, happy that happened for you. you. Well, I mean, thanks. Again, you're acting like I am engaged when I am simply just committed to dating someone. And there is yeah. a very big difference. There, but is, there is a huge difference. But, you know, we're... We're celebrating okay. whatever you we are, can you are in, in this Willette romantic, household. Romantic simp mode, and that is that is. A I like to thing. romanticize yes. my life. Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, okay. Cool. So you're dating someone. Love that. Um, do you have any flight attendant horror stories that have happened since? Any juicy ones? Um, I don't have any juicy ones. I have a I have a pretty good like mansplaining one. So about a month ago, I was working a flight from Denver to Kona, and it was the day that Kona shut down the runway because the runway started cracking. So about two hours before landing, we got news that we were diverting to Honolulu because we couldn't land. And I remember I was working up in first class that day, and I had this, like, I don't even know if I should be saying this. Like, if my, I need my work to not, like, ever listen to this. I can go ahead and guarantee n- your work ain't listening to <coughs> okay. your internet best friend okay. podcast. I, I mean, we hope and pray. We hope and pray. Um, but yeah, I just, <laughs> I just remember I was like up in first class and we had to like make the announcement that we were diverting to Honolulu. And I had this like old wealthy man and his little, he, he was giving off like strong sugar daddy energy, which I'm like, you know what? Like go live your best life. But like, I have to like, kind of set the scene before I continue with the story. Strong sugar daddy energy and this like cute little young thing beside him. And he comes up to me and he's like throwing a temper tantrum to me, acting like I, I cracked the runway. <laughs> and he's like telling me he has like a $5,000 helicopter tour set to like take place the next morning and that I must immediately go talk to the pilots and have them like, uh like I need he needed to get dropped off somehow on the island and they could deal with the rest of the passengers after and then he like pulls up this YouTube video and is trying to mansplain to me on how to like properly land the plane on a cracked piece of pavement and all that that stuff yeah so like I would say uh out of like all my crazy passengers dealing with this like rich old decrepit man see i blame your job thing because i i that would annoy me so much having to be nice and just smile yeah well i mean that's the thing like i feel like i'm a very patient person and i'm you not you are not like i am you not are, you are not patient you crave stability you we are like so opposite so yeah the thought of like you being a flight attendant no you would probably combust on the spot but yeah Absolutely i mean we not i don't really have any crazy stories i just had like that one incident where i had this man like trying to tell me that I needed to give this YouTube video to the pilot so they could land the plane on his behalf. Love love that. I hope he went on his $5,000 helicopter tour. Also, the next time you come across an old, decrepit, wealthy sugar daddy, you just just slide him my business card and say, I got a sister who wants a (laughs) Chanel bag. How about I just send him your Venmo? And we I like just, honestly we hope and pray Alex, and just see what happens. Work smarter, not harder. I agree. Um, cool. Love that. No one's rolling around in vomit on planes. Mm-hmm. I'm so Love. happy for you. You're I mean, I am kind of sad. Like I'm happy for you, but I'm sad for the sake of the podcast that we don't now get crazy dating stories from you. So <clears throat> looks that's like, sad. It looks like one of the other Willette sisters will have to bear the brunt of this. So No, I I don't want to take one for the team. Look, <laughs> how about I, we nominate Heather? All right, besties, let's talk food. Because if you're anything like me, you're always looking forward to your next meal. Seriously, I wake up thinking about food. I notice though, if I have busy days, I would often skip meals or just try to get by on a protein bar because I didn't have time to sit down and actually cook. Well, not anymore. We are eating good, mainly because I'm a loyal fan of Factor Meals and I have a subscription with them that I seriously love. Factors delicious, ready-to-eat meals make eating better every single day 
easy. You'll never skip lunch again, no matter how busy you are, because Factor is delivered to your door and they're so easy to make. You'll have over 35 different options a week to choose from, including keto, calorie smart, vegan, veggie, high protein, and more. And there's even more to enjoy with over 55 nutrition packed add-ons that help make your weekly meal planning even more delicious and in line with your fitness goals. Because we are fitness girlies, They also have two-minute meals, lots of snack options, smoothies. Y'all, literally, they have it all. Also, it's less expensive than takeout, major plus, and way better for you because every single meal is dietitian approved to be nutritious and delicious. It's fast, easy, and most important for me, flexible because y'all know I sometimes like to disappear to a foreign country for a couple of weeks. You can choose six to 18 meals per week. I personally do the six, and you can pause or reschedule anytime. I truly cannot recommend Factor enough. It always makes me so happy when you guys message me and say that you're also loving them. So if you are loving them, DM me. If you haven't tried it yet and this just convinced you, well, you're in luck. You can head to factormeals.com slash internet BF50. Use code internet BF50 to get 50% off. Once again, that's code internet BF50 at factormeals.com slash internet BF50 to get 50% off your order. Okay, Alex, we, the point of this podcast is, well, I wanted a life update from you, but I also have some dating icks I want to go through. So I made a list and we're going to rank how icky they are. But before we do that, it does just make me giggle because you live in La La Land. I've said this forever. Alex is on her own planet. She's floating through life, doesn't know what's going on around her, is so far removed from pop culture um, so I wanted to do just like a little quiz to see how... Was that supposed to be a diss? Because <laughs> I took that as a compliment. Um, <laughs> so It wasn't meant to be a diss, but I it think very much was. it might have been a little bit of a drag on your end. Well, welcome and to I my world. How does it feel? It. That was great. Thank you. Um, Continue. But so I want to do a little quiz to see... Uh, I mean, what? where have you been? You were in New Zealand. You were... I can't keep track of where you have been recently, but I know it was in America. It sounds like you're not paying hard enough attention to my social media pages or caring about my whereabouts. So that uh, sounds like a personal issue, if you ask me. Yeah, I got a lot of things going on in my life. I'm not stalking your Instagram stories. You could just tell me where you are in the world. Anywho, let's do a quiz to Kay. see how up to speed you are with 2024 and where we are. Okay. I do you love a good game? So. Okay. True or Ready. false? Okay. Taylor Swift brought her parents to the club with her after the Super Bowl. True. She made a TikTok video. Wow. I'm impressed with that well, one. Well, that you, you knew might, that. Yeah. I mean, I don't want, I don't get on TikTok. I watch everything like 72 hours later on Instagram okay, reels. Fair. You know? Okay, fair. Boom, um, what are your thoughts on Taylor and Travis? I think that the people that stand them the most are the people that are like, the most simpy for a relationship and that one at the, the most like it's Do it's the desperados <laughs> of the world oh my <laughs> that are super gracious. invested in that relationship swifties get her <laughs> attacker now i uh, said really? what i said yeah do you think that they'll get engaged i don't to me the thought of like putting all this weight and merit into two people we don't know i'm like that that is like the sign of a mentally unstable person that is not healthy shut behavior up, Alex. so shut up <laughs> or maybe it's the sign of someone who just like believes in the happy love story and likes seeing two people in love with each other well if you really want a happy <laughs> love story there's plenty of books i feel like that have like happy endings where you don't have to worry about the people or be actually not invested in the people because it's all like anyway fiction characters i'm highly invested i love them did you see the tiktok okay this is so cute this is actually my dream if i was to be a famous pop star which i am not but they're in the club in Vegas and they're singing Love Story. Like, just imagine your boyfriend just won the Super Bowl. You're the most famous person on the planet Earth. And you guys are together in love, celebrating a Super Bowl win and singing your song. But the thing in about that is once you've hit that peak, like they, they can't get like any happier. It can't get better for them, right? Eventually, it's going to plateau. And that's going to be interesting. Like, Yeah, I mean, I guess that's know? kind of a true point. I don't know. I believe in love. I think that they're going to get married. They make me super happy. Congratulations. Emotional on... versus logical. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm not going to argue with yeah. that. Okay. Who were the three people? So there was actually multiple people. But who were like the top three people who performed with Usher at the Super Bowl? Her. 
I don't know, ATR? Is that okay. how you say it? That was one of them. That was not one of the top ones, but okay. Oh. Um, Alicia Keys. Okay. Come Usher. On, you, uh, right. <laughs> he performed. <laughs> Thank you. Third. Uh, it was the guy from like our childhood. T-Pain or whatever. No! <laughs> it was like... The LMFAO people or something. What are you talking about? <laughs> it was whatever song. Whatever. I was going to sing. I was going to sing that I song. don't remember. I didn't you're watch talking the half. About I like really With saw Usher it. and LMFAO. <laughs> um, okay, it? so you're incorrect. Get out of America. Um, I think you're thinking of Lil John and Ludacris. Which is pretty much what I just said. Which is and that pretty is much not, not what you said. Like the same energy. That is the same energy. I'm honestly impressed that you said her H E R because she had a little like I thought it was Northwest at first. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Allie, she had a little like shut space up space buns. Okay, <laughs> all right. If anyone asks Allie, she's gonna say that Usher performed with Northwest and L M F A O for the Super Bowl. <laughs> okay, so which like, honestly would have been a really good Super okay, Bowl. Okay, so, so like, you get no something. points for that one. Okay, true or false? Ariana Grande is currently dating a ginger. Morgan, that was like so six months ago. That was not six months yeah. ago, first of yeah, all. Yeah, she's a cheater and she's like now dating like the Frankie. She, she's dating someone that looks exactly like her brother. Yes, like which her is brother. Like it's an disturbing. It's an interesting psychology experiment right there. I can't stand in the her. Making. Like out of all the uh, celebrities, I have never been an Ariana Grande fan. I think her music is great, but she's a homewrecker. And she, okay, but she and, vocalizes ooh. wanting to be a homewrecker. The, don't defend her. Uh, all I'm saying is we don't know these people. Therefore, but, okay, yes, you're right, you're right. We don't, I don't know like these a home people, wrecker, though, so I'm gonna give. But that. I feel like her song, what is the new one? Yes, and I haven't even listened to it, so I don't know. Okay, well, you should listen <laughs> to that one because it's she's clapping back at all these rumors. But the way that the song is is, I don't know. I just don't like it. Um, I think it's sad. He had a pregnant wife. I mean, honestly, let's put all the blame on him because he had a choice. He could have easily said. I'm not going to hook up with the most famous pop star. I'm going to stick with my prego wife, but he chose not to. And now I just read online they're moving in together. I mean, I feel like also men. This is like so like Ugh, men, men, men. Some <laughs> men are going to men. You know what I'm saying? And like that man is manning. So, yeah, yeah. I mean, if you're listening to this and you're a man, don't be like those men. Thank you. Don't be a man manning. Yeah. Be the opposite. Yeah. Um, He's also and I'm sure he's a lovely person, but. If you go look at the TikToks, there's one I'm talking about where he's talking and he has this weird quirk where he like smirks. Like, anyways, you gotta go look at it. It's it. They're strange. I'm I'm actually proud that. Do you know his name? No. <laughs> okay. Well, I know his face. I'm a visual girly. Well, it so. is. Um, if anyone asks you, Ariana Grande and Ethan Slater. So I'll give you half a point for that one because you like kind of knew, but you didn't know his name. He doesn't name. Even look like an Ethan Slater. That's he doesn't insane. look like an Ethan Slater. <laughs> Ethan Slater, that's like a, that's like a, I'm a Tom Cruise. Like I'm, I am what? a Henry Cavill. That's like that energy. Ethan Slater, that's like a superhero name. Ethan Slater name. is not a Ethan Tom Slater, Cruise type of name. That's a, that is for sure. That name does not, that guy got, no. no Ethan Slater gives strong SpongeBob he gives on like Broadway Arnold vibes. He gives vibes. Well, you know, he plays SpongeBob. That is his role on Broadway is the human SpongeBob. Right. That is not Ethan Slater energy is what I'm trying you know to what? tell well, you. Well, we need him to legally change his name now to match his vibe. What would you name him? Arnold. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, you can have a point for that. Okay. If you don't know this one, Alex, I am, I'm, can't claim <laughs> like you as like my setting sister. setting me up to fail I will be right so now. disappointed. Like, come on. Um, what is the name of Beyonce's new country song? Oh, I haven't listened to it. But... It's Texas Hold Up. Oh, God bless. Okay. I only know okay. this because you've put it on your story like five times. And I, I not that I like listen, but I, I just like see it. I put it on my story a single time. Just one. Three. <laughs> I'm going to send you receipts. There's just <laughs> one. But whatever. You get a point for that one. I'm proud because it had Texas in the title. And I was going to be very disappointed as a Texan if you didn't know that. But congrats. Thank you. Thank you so okay, much. Okay. So you're actually much more with the world than I thought. Thank you. Um, minus the whole Usher Another thing. Another compliment. Which, that's embarrassing. But that's okay. I'm going to keep that in the podcast. Um, let's get into dating X. Okay. Um, I'm ready. I actually don't think I've asked you this question before. I'm curious. I don't know if you know my ick, but I'll save mine for after you. What is your biggest ick? With men. 
Well, this is a very niche thing that men do. Okay. And it, <laughs> but it drives me insane. And we're going to talk about it. Because if there is a man who listens to this podcast, which, a what's your demographic? Fem- I think I got like a 90, heavy female well, base. Well, females of the podcast, if you have a husband or significant other or a son or a brother, <laughs> this is the time to, this is your time to shine and tell them. When a guy is using the bathroom and he's peeing. <laughs> Where is this going? My number one pet peeve is when a guy literally can't aim. He just like pisses on the floor in front <laughs> of the toilet. And that is a thing because I have witnessed male friends in the past. Like there's nothing more ick like than when you're like at a guy's house and you walk into like go to the bathroom, freshen up, whatever. And you can tell the guy just like has pissed all over the floor. And you're just like, <laughs> pick me need, home. You need better friends. <laughs> <laughs> you are friends or, with degenerates. I'm telling you, I'm, no, I'm telling you, this is a thing. And if you haven't observed this, start looking at the floor <laughs> by the toilet and you'll get the instant ick. And you will know, is this my person or is this my sign? Okay. Is this a sign from the universe? I need to leave immediately. Okay, well... For all the people listening out there who is dating someone, please send me messages. Look at the floor near the toilet in your bathroom. Like the base of the toilet. It's okay. always going to be yeah. just like a line right by the Not base. Not the That's, actual toilet. Yeah. The base of the toilet. Yeah. How many times has this happened to you? I've, I've, I've just like noticed it being a thing with men. <laughs> okay. And I don't think that they're called out the way that they should be. Like they get called out for like leaving the toilet lit up. Fine. But there's other issues that we need to discuss, too, as a society. And that is one. (laughs) I mean, that is an ick I've never thought about. But, yes, that is, like, that's beyond just, like, a casual ick. That's, like, an actual ick ick. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Yes. Okay, well, that makes my ick seem mild in comparison. Um, Have you ever seen a guy ride a bird scooter? Um, I come from San Diego where men only ride bird scooters and do you think it's disgusting well i was never sober enough to really like like take into account if i would got the ick from that okay, a lot of well, times i'm just hoping that they will let me like hop on the scooter with them so i don't have to do oh it oh my god we're so opposite if a guy was like hey babe hop on the back of my scooter i'd say literally never talk to me again I mean, oh, there's nothing ickier than like a grown-ass man gripping little rubber handlebars and just like zoop Zoop, zoop, like on the back of a electric scooter that he's standing on. A moped's fine. If you got a seat, we're chill. But not standing on so one. So you're saying you're a moped girly. No, I'd like a man to have a she car. She wants a man with a moped. You I'd like a man first. with a car. <laughs> no. I'd like a, man, a motorcycle, hot. Car, hot. Truck, hot. Or just like order an Uber. Mopeds? No, I don't want a man... I, you know, I'm actually I don't like that I don't like a man <laughs> on a moped that's girly that's giving strong Lizzie well, McGuire what, vibes and I, I don't say, like what that. if you were in Italy and like you just stumbled upon this this like ex- Apollo y- yeah would you be into it no motorcycle yes <laughs> mm-hmm. okay I've been on the uh, the back of many motorcycles in foreign countries liked it none of them pulled up on a moped though <laughs> I don't think I would like that um so I was gonna say Okay, that's one of my icks, and I just thought of this one. What do you think about men who call women as a pet name honey? It doesn't, it doesn't bother me. I think that there's much worse pet names out there. Honey, I'm, I'm in, in small like in small doses, fine. Okay. Like, every once in, I think, like, honey, it's okay if it's, like, a long-term thing and, like, I, it's not, I don't, it's just different. There's, like, different levels of pet names. Okay, that's that one's one not, of my that's biggest not super icks, icky. Mainly because... A guy that I talked to called me honey. See, I think it could come across as condescending. If- I also think it's condescending, but he yeah. spelt it. Wait for it. He spelt honey, called me that, H-U-N-N-I. Oh, yeah. Said, oh, hey, honey. That's like and I said, from <gasps> Tumblr. Yeah, yeah. What? Did you just text me? <clears throat> honey, with an I and a U. I'm like, what's happening? Ick. That's very, like, boomer trying to be Gen Z vibes. It's just a no. It's a no in general. Um, so yeah, those are my icks. But let's go through. Some of these are comical. Let's. These are the general public's icks. And I put. By general public, we're talking about the females from your Instagram? Yes. Okay, cool. Just yes. Checking. So not the general public. <laughs> I did not survey everyone in the world. Just the she random people responded. I took a small responded. sample size. Of I took a her, small sample. Yes. 
of mainly females age 25 to 40. Who live in the Midwest and the South. Not everyone. I Most of my following, believe it or not, is New York based. Really? Mm-hmm. Is that weird? Hello, East Coast people. Hello, East Coast. Okay. The top response of the biggest ick in men. <laughs> Alex, you're going to like this one. Men who own cats. What do you think of that? I think if a man owns a cat, it shows a level of depth. That Shut they, up. <laughs> I think it shows. Okay, you know what? I've never met an alpha male who owns a cat, and alpha males give me the ick. So, like, I, oh, I think, love me an alpha male. Uh, not, I do not want a beta. There's, there, I don't want a beta either, but I think there's, like, different. Like, when I say alpha male, I don't say that in, like, like a positive way. I say that in a, like, douchey alpha male way. Okay, yeah, I guess way. there's different levels. There can be, like, a good alpha male and then like yes you're like raging douchebag i alpha think male. a guy should have a balance of both like no one to be chill but also no one to take charge which i wouldn't define as either alpha or beta that's more like yeah hit me with that what is that i don't know i was gonna say wait, a wait, letter wait, wait, between wait, okay. two but <laughs> if you were dating a guy and you're coming over to his place for the very first time and you walk in and there's a litter he lives by himself important detail there's a litter box and a couple of cats you're sticking around? See, I think a couple of cats is a little extreme. One cat, <laughs> fine. No, no, no. I, I don't, yeah, I, I'm with the people on this one. Well, I mean, you're not even one. like an animal person, really, so. I mean, your dog with fur guy, yes, fine. I don't like, I don't want a dog sleeping in the bed with me, I will say. Like, if I'm dating someone, I want you and I in the bed, not necessarily the dog. Um, but no, I don't want a guy I with a cat. You're more of a fish person. What <laughs> kind of really insult think, is that? I really think that's like of an animal for you. Like if do not say I'm like a beta fish. That is insulting. That is no, what children get. I was get going to bears. say. I think when you're looking for like a partner later in life, if you if you end up like looking for a partner, I think you should seek out someone who has like an aquarium. Like you Alex, separate, <laughs> you what separate. kind of weirdo has an aquarium? What kind of I don't want someone who has to feed their turtles. Like, hey, babe, I got to go home and feed the fish. I just feel like for you, you'll have that, like, division of, like, oh, look at this, like, pretty wall of fish that you can just, like, get down with. And then you You know why that gives me the ick is because Voldemort, he's that type of person, used to have, like, a crazy big aquarium with like exotic oh. fish that is no See, that's your type right no there. no that's we learned our lesson <laughs> we don't want men with aquariums i could do a dog the only reason is i travel too much and i don't want the responsibility of taking care of a dog so as long as they want to take care of the dog yeah but like chill with that i kind of feel like if you have a dog that's a family member and that should sleep on the bed with you Oh, see, so I... We differ greatly okay. with that. Yeah, I'm going to do a poll. I'm going to let people vote. I actually think the dog people vote. I, dog people ride or die for their dogs. So they're like very team in the bed. But um, I'm not... I'm That's not why that. you are an aquarium girl. I'm just not an aquarium it. girl. <laughs> I'm just like a nothing. I'm a nothing girl <laughs> who wants to go to Europe. That is it. That is it. Um, okay, what do you think about men and flip-flops? Hate. 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 Hate, hate. Loathe entirely. If... If there is a man listening to this podcast and you own a pair of flip-flops and you're not within 10 feet of the sand, I want you to burn them immediately. <laughs> burn <laughs> burn fl- them. Toss them in the fire. Don't, don't, just, yeah. Yeah, there's something about men's toes in like little thongs, like little something up in just between like the toes. Pa- I don't pale like. Pale little nubs just sticking out. Yeah. yeah. No, cover the dogs. We don't know. <laughs> Unless you were going to a beach a yeah. lake, a pool. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Except Are you in the car on your way to be near water and sand? Keep. If you are not, toss what, immediately. Wh- which, like, I'm sorry to the male population, but I just want you in all... I don't care how hot it is outside. I want you in a sock and a shoe. I just feel like that's... Yeah. Like, that's the hottest thing for a man to wear. Like, I don't even like the idea of think. slides. I just don't want to see your toes. I don't want to see yeah. your hairy toes. Yeah, I can get that. Yeah. The one thing we agree upon thus far. Like, if you're wearing a slide, I want a sock with the slide. Yeah. I don't care how lame that is. Like, cover up your feet. I'd like to pretend, like, you don't, like, I don't want to be thinking about your feet. Therefore, like, let's neutralize this immediately. I, d- I do agree. I don't love men's feet. Um, well, the next most common response was what gives people the ick is long toes. This one's specific. <laughs> Especially when they hang outside of sandals or flip-flops. <laughs> Like they hang, like they're like, 
finger toes. <laughs> Whoever wrote this has a lot of has had a traumatic experience with toes <laughs> with in the past. Finger toes. <laughs> yeah, and I would like to like I would like for her to step up and like can you have her on the podcast next? Yeah, I need to yeah. <laughs> hear about your experience with finger toes because like you poor thing. Um yeah, I'm not a fan of that. I don't know. Like the length of toes doesn't bother me, but like are they like clipped and manicured oh, and like no you want like have you seen long toes i don't know before? i don't like are we talking like especially can I, can when I they're google, second can I google finger toes <laughs> <laughs> no especially when their second toe is like crazy long have you seen toes like that <laughs> are you googling finger did. toes yeah they look like fingers <laughs> <laughs> look at this i'll put <laughs> <laughs> wait that's a girl's toe but regardless never, that, oh my god they literally look like fingers like oh my god i would cut my feet off <laughs> i would literally cut my own feet off okay <laughs> that's the number one ick moving on um ooh, guys who take selfies that doesn't give me an ick, but that's it also depends. coming from me. Are they putting like weird filters on it to make their teeth whiter? Because you you know how like like are they face tuning their selfies? Yeah, Disgusting. yeah, foul. I don't so. mind a selfie. I really don't. But I think it depends on the context. Are they on a cool vacation snapping a selfie? Yeah. Okay. Like honestly, I kind of feel like a guy taking a selfie that shows a little bit of like I, I think confidence. it shows confidence. Yeah, yeah. There's I don't a, mind it. In in small doses. Okay. If you go on yeah. his Instagram and it's just like straight selfies with like a teeth filter. Yeah, run the other be, way. Yeah, yeah, a little yeah, bit of it. Yeah. I, yeah, okay. So that one depends on the context. Um, oof, this is going back to pet names. Guys who call you baby after just meeting one time. Yeah, uh, yeah. Heartic, heartic. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. No. How do you feel? I don't. I don't even love like, the idea of being called baby see, at all. I like. I don't mind like being called like babe or baby. Babe. Chill. If once you've like established something like solid with each other. I like baby girl. Oh, who, who? If some, if a guy looks at me, it's like, like what? I guess like that's Travis kind of like, Kelsey's that's like, 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 hey, like, baby girl. I'm yeah. like, I'm going to mouse into a puddle. Hot. I, I mean, I guess I never really thought about that. But for me, like pet names, they just, you have to be at a certain point yeah, yeah, yeah. for it to be not. And icky. I feel like it has to come from both people. Yeah. Where it's like the girls also may be calling you a pet name where there's like flirtations yeah. going you gotta on have a little about like banter with each other yeah, you gotta have banter you don't yeah. just you don't hit him with a hard baby right away no you're icky no um <laughs> this one is so oddly specific men doing the limbo <laughs> i also Do- need this female to step up <laughs> we need to know what but happened about to it. you have you ever s- oh i'm thinking about hot ozzy doing the limbo no i want to hide well, no. I, I haven't. I do people do the limbo anymore? I thought that was like left behind in two thousand four. So I'm guess I'm like, I where know. is she doing limbo with men? And like, it's like I <laughs> what have more, child's birthday party have, are you at when you saw questions. a hot man doing the limbo? Yeah. I would have to agree, Icky. I, I'm a neutral. I'm just more curious, like who's doing the limbo anymore? <gasps> this one, vile. Okay, imagine, imagine your boyfriend Alex tying his shoelaces bunny ears method. Two loops. Honestly, I like that. No. Br- we're bringing back something like a lost art form. If a man cannot yeah. tie his shoes normally. I think that shows that they're creative. Alex, they think outside the box. If they have to make two bunny ears with their shoelaces. <laughs> well, we would need to do a test. Got a like, problem. Are they capable of doing both? If they just like choose to do the bunny method, like, is that really a bad thing? How do you, do you do the bunny method? No, but now I'm tempted to like bring it back. Well, put your crusty feet down (laughs) until you put on the new shoes I bought you. Um, What, where are you people coming up with these? A grown man ordering apple juice. (laughs) Oh, I I don't like that. You know what? I don't like that. I I 100% agree with that, Nick, but being a flight attendant and having to like serve drinks, the amount of old, not old, just like grown, like lumberjack looking men who are just like apple juice? Have apple juice oh all the time all the time i mean i'm this sure a there's a lot of nutrients in it no it's just sugary crap it's oh. there's really not there's no justification like get a sparkling water right now or if you're gonna order like a sugary drink like a ginger ale manly yeah but the yeah amount of, the amount of i'm telling you the amount of like like burly muscular like mountain men that are like can i have an apple juice like all no, the time that's like the same like I would actually rather a man drink apple juice than nothing would give me a bigger ache than a man who's like, 
I know you're drinking about to say. chocolate milk. Uh, I was about to say. Or milk. I knew you were about to say milk. I was about to also say I get a lot of men asking for milk. No, that, that you is a don't. Thing, I swear no, to God. you don't. Okay, not a lot, but I would say in the past, like a sample size, the past like three weeks of working, I've probably had three men ask for a cup of milk. I swear to God. And I just stare at them and I go, okay, wait. <laughs> men, if you're out there listening to this podcast, please, dear God, drink milk in private. Just drink it in the privacy of your own home. That's fine. No. Hard ick. Okay. Don't like that one. Um, This one I take offense to. Someone said man buns. I want to take scissors and cut them off. I think we all know how I feel about a man bun. I love. I you love, love a good man. man bun until you have a bad man bun experience. Also, okay, I take that back. I love a man bun, but it has to be a good man bun. Like, it has to be thick. They have to have long hair. It can't be like a scraggly little rat tail Mm. man bun. Yeah. Like, it's got to be thick. Like, I love a guy with long hair. It's weird. I I mean, I'm with you on that. I love a good man bun, too. I think the guy, for to pull it off, they kind of have to have, like, the demeanor behind it that fits the man bun. Yeah. There's a yeah, lot of, you have to have a man bun personality there's a to lot pull of men off the man bun. There's a lot of think they can do the man buns, and then they spend all this time growing it out, and it just doesn't work for them, too. Mm, yeah, 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 I agree. And those are the icks, I think, right there. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it has to be, like, like I'm thinking, like, Jason Momoa. Yeah. That kind yeah, of man bun. Yeah, you have bun. to have that energy. Yeah. Like, you were picked up off a volcano as a baby, and, like... <laughs> <laughs> how does that have anything to do with the man bun? like you you were raised with the i'm wolves. gonna text hot ozzy and be like were you picked up off a volcano <laughs> as a baby you just have to have that like that energy that spirit i think yeah. that like wild man spirit that's <laughs> what i'm trying to say okay sure all right i'm reevaluating things oh <laughs> i don't like this one plugging your nose when jumping into the ocean mm-mm yeah. If a man can't That's handle foul. a little water up his nose. That's foul. He can't save me from a burning fire. Yeah. Anyone who's like plugging their nose, it's giving off energy like you take like Advil for migraines on a daily basis <laughs> or something, you know? <laughs> Where are you coming up with this? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> with this stuff. Um, okay, I don't, that was a horrible analogy. Don't listen to Alex. If you have a what? migraine, please take some okay. Advil. Like it. <laughs> it's, t- it's giving hypochondriac vibes. Is that fair? Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, I just think, yeah, as a man. Like, it's giving, like, I cut my finger, I need, I have a boo-boo, give me a band-aid. <laughs> <laughs> that energy. Oop, gotta plug my nose. <laughs> yeah. I think, yeah, I think it's fine. I actually don't even love when girls do it. I know, yeah. I know, don't come for me, podcast listeners. I know there's, like, medical reasons or, like, you have ear infections <laughs> no, or sinus that- stuff. I totally fine. get that. It still just gives me the ick. It just does. I think if you have a reason for it, fine. But there are people who are just that, like, like frou fru that like, they... And I want a little salt yeah, water up my yeah, nose. Yeah. yeah, I don't like that. Oh, this is another oddly specific one. My boyfriend cuts up every piece of meat on his plate before eating his meal. I don't like that. What's wrong with that? <laughs> <laughs> like he has a big steak and you know how we his efficiency kind of- he wants to like work hard play hard you know i'm just picturing like you're at a nice steak dinner and this man's like sawing into his whole entire steak and it, the plate is covered with little just bite-sized pieces of meat yeah but then think about it after he's done all that work he just has 30 minutes to just relish in his steak <laughs> without having to like just chowing down yeah. i mean i guess maybe that's not that icky i just yeah i don't love that um Okay. How do you feel about men with goatees? I'm not a fan. Just a goatee? Just a no. goatee. No. Yeah, no. Doesn't do it for me. I can't think of any man, and correct me if the listeners, if I'm wrong, I can't think of any even celebrity who has just a goatee that I'm like, damn, that guy's hot. Yeah. Which yeah. is probably a pretty good sign that if you have a goatee and you're listening, you should shave it but off. But also, I just don't get goatees. You obviously can grow facial hair yeah, very so well. Just like, why don't Why don't we just fill it in? Yeah, and why if don't we anything, just fill it in. Having facial hair is like a blessing for a guy. Blessing. You can like shape it. You can make it look like you have cheekbones. It is like a. It's like their it's version makeup. of makeup. It's makeup yeah. for men. So like, if you got a goatee, like let's just like full send it. You know. Yeah, it's like the equivalent of us beating our face. Yeah, it's like a full glam. If you got a goatee, you're half. You're you're. That you're, is your contour. Well, if you if you have no, I'm trying hair. to think of a good analogy. Like if you have a goatee, that's like basically doing just foundation and nothing else. No contour, no highlight, no blush. You just got some foundation slapped on your yeah. face. You're missing some things. It's like you concealed some 
stuff here, <laughs> but not here. I don't yeah. You, yeah, I don't know what you're on, <laughs> but you're on something on this podcast. Oh, this is a good one. Anytime a man says we are pregnant when he's talking about like him and his wife, like, oh, we're pregnant. Do you think that's an ick? It depends like how he's saying it. And I think it depends a lot on like how he's, is he saying it? It depends. Mm -hmm. Is he saying it where he's almost like, like not allowing the woman her, her moment, her time to shine. Maybe it does depend on the context. Yeah. Cause I could see how maybe like this alpha macho male wants it to be kind of about him. So he's like, oh, we're pregnant. Yeah. Or I don't know. Cause I have heard men and I think it's cute. Yeah. When he's like, oh, well, we're a unit, so we're yeah. having a baby because I'm going to help take care of it mm-hmm. as well. So, yeah, I do agree. I think it depends on the context. I wouldn't say that's full ick. Full, it's not full ick unless they're, like, an alpha male douchebag. Then that's when it veers in, like, the extreme ick category. What do you think about men with shaved – oh, this one's sp- – shaved prickly chests. Prickles. Little prickles. Are they purposely trying to be prickly? Or they just, no, I think they just like shave their chest and it grows them prickly. I think if you have a hairy chest, you should just own the hairy chest. I agree. I like a hairy chest yeah. on a guy. I, it does not bother me. I think me. you can like manscape a bit if it's like, say it's like so unbelievably Trim it. hairy. Trim it yeah. a little bit. But I think if you have that, like girls like that, just Yeah, like, I will it. say it's like when a man's chest looks like my legs after I haven't shaved in two weeks, I'm like, I'm not into that. Like yeah. when it's just enough stubble to be like there and prickly yeah but it's like you can trim to curate that you don't need to be like shaving and then like yeah. i don't know Sha- yeah it's yeah the shaving of the chest thing i'm yeah men out there if you're listening know. just like just let know. it grow just, just trim it up just trim, just trim. It. Yeah. we don't need a f- i always say i don't want a man whose legs are smoother than mine yeah like, i don't want to be brushing up against yeah smooth baby like they're legs. more polished than you yeah no yeah. let me be the polished one you yeah. can be the rugged one okay we're on the same page with that um i'm offended because this is me people who take big helpings of dips with chips and crackers (laughs) that's like specific but like so wildly i want the dip i don't want to nibble i don't want to like bite of queso i want a full scoop i don't know if i like feel like that's an ick i just feel like that's i don't know like like this person would think i'm disgusting because when there's guacamole i'm full sending i'm dipping that chip as hard as i can to get the most amount on the chip it's fine i mean some people just aren't good with their proportions like you, you clearly are not this person is not and i just think okay. work smarter not harder i want a big dip on my chip she's a big dip girly <laughs> big dip energy <laughs> big dip energy <laughs> um what how do you dip your chips i feel like i do like a pretty even proportion but I'm like a perpetual grazer. Like I just like I like little tiny bites just over and over and over. See, here this is how we differ, and this is why I'm a big dip energy type of girl. I want like three bites. I want like big bites, so I only have to dip three times, and I get full because I got my big portions. I don't want to have to dip ten times to get full. Work smarter, not harder. Mm-hmm. To each their own. Well, do you think it's an ick though? That's I don't answer. view that as an ick. Yeah, no. I don't either. Ooh, men carrying Stanley Cups. I don't think I've ever seen a <laughs> man carry Stanley Cup. But honestly, hydrated king. Like, if you're getting hydrated, do your thing. Did you did you spend over $100 and stand in a line to get the Stanley Cup? That that's would a be good, an That's ick. a good question. I think, is it an ick if a man has a Stanley Cup and their girlfriend or wife bought it for them? No. Yeah, or if they that, just, like, happen, someone gave it to them. Yeah, Whatever. yeah, that's they're, not. They won't but, want yeah, it. if they're, like, waiting in line at Target fighting people for the Stanley Cup, like, they're obsessed, they have multiple colors, they collect them similar to, like, I do, I think that's a bit of an ick. I would agree. Yeah, okay, we're on the same page. Um another oddly specific one like three people said this tell me if you know what they're talking about men who drive jeep wranglers with ducks on the dash like rubber ducks is that a thing should i google that no okay i have no idea (laughs) um i mean i don't think that would give me an ick i'd be like oh why is there a rubber duck there but i don't why would the jeep i I feel like any rubber duck on a dash would give me an ick can i chime in only because my fiance's mom was a jeep Jeep people put those ducks on each other's Jeeps. Wait, like, what? That's a thing? And they, like, put, leave rubber ducks on each other's Jeeps. Was it like oh, a Oh, that's like, weird. Like a community like thing? Culture Jeep, culture. Culture. Jeep culture. Jeep culture. Jeep. You have a Jeep? Yeah, like, not what? a Wrangler. It's just, 
just for anglers. Oh, that's for weird. Like, people buy, like, they'll buy, like, a bag of 50 <gasps> ducks and, like, be out there, like, putting, when they'll see people with jeeps, they'll put them on her jeep. So, I'm sorry, I just had to, like, no. Oh, this is imperative information. I feel like I learned so much just you now. You Jeep Wrangler people now in I'm the gonna, duck Now I kind of just want to start buying ducks and, like, screwing with people yeah. and, like, leaving them on, like, <laughs> like just, random cars. You should just start, like, leaving them not on Jeeps at <laughs> yeah. all. People get so pissed we're gonna, off. We're like, going to rebel against the movement. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to ruin Jeep Wrangler culture. I'm now determined. That is str- – I've never heard of that. That doesn't give me – I mean, I think it's weird, but it wouldn't give me an ick. I think it's more so an ick when a guy has the massive car, like the big truck, like that's like small penis energy. And he has to like jump down from the truck. Like he can't get in the truck. Yeah. Does that give you an ick? It's a, well, I would have. Don't defend them. I'm not going to defend. I, I think it depends on the guy. I think it just depends on like a guy's energy. No. So you're saying your man comes with a um, but some guys can't help if they're short kings. no i'm talking about no no no. i'm talking not i love me a short king Lo- i support the short kings i'm talking about when a guy has a lifted truck so big oh, even if he's like he did he did this to himself he, he no alex i'm not talking about <laughs> no i'm not talking about a normal car <laughs> no, i'm talking like about a guy who he did this to me i'm talking <laughs> i'm talking about like <laughs> you got you you're a little off on what we're what the vibes are getting no also you like a monster truck type thing did you see my instagram story no with- i not really no i okay them. <laughs> that's rude like you know like the Gran- think granberry texas think granberry high school the guys in the parking lot like with the belt buckles and the the starch jeans like the- and they have like balls hanging from the back of their truck mm, and it's like lifted. that's all you had to say that's all i needed and to now say. i have the complete visual Thank yes you. yes that's a nick yeah yeah what i'm like so my sister's drunk right now i don't know what's wrong with her um okay a couple more we're gonna wrap it up what do you think about white sunglasses on a man hate that was very like jersey shore circa 2009 i had to think hard about this one because i don't think i've ever seen a man in a white sunglass i i think that is like the ickiest of x personally it's giving poly d energy yeah or it's giving like plastic forever 21 sunglasses that a man bought 12 years ago and he still like throws on well, to go forever to. oh wait no i was gonna say forever 21 is a woman's store it's not <laughs> yeah it's man too yeah. okay yeah no we don't like white sunglasses how do you feel about ick or not men who prefer fruity girly drinks over like an old-fashioned <sighs> this actually does not bother me my thing is like not everybody likes whiskey right and so, also, I've tasted an old fashioned. Yeah, I've tasted I the man they're drink. Good. They're disgusting. And I, I hate the, I hate the idea of a man feeling like he has to fit in this box if he just like straight up doesn't like right how a like drink taste. What you don't like the taste of an yeah. old fashioned, so you have to suffer through. Yeah, that? Nah, you I don't. don't I'm get not into that, that spicy mark. Look, you so, own that. Sometimes the fruity drinks just taste good, and sometimes that's the energy you need in your life. Like, look, I love the idea of a hot Australian sipping a pina colada. Yeah, I'm like hot. Yeah, cool. I'm about it. I think everybody should embrace their inner, like, pina coladas. Embrace your inner pina colada. If you want a margarita, go get you a margarita. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and spicy marks, you can't... I'm sorry. I think there's nothing more feminine or masculine. There's for everyone in a spicy marg. <laughs> spicy marks are universal. They are worldwide. How about just a classic marg? No. I feel like that might be spice. a little bit more universal. Hit me with beloved. that spice. Mm. Um, no, you're wrong. Okay, last but not least on our ick list... Another oddly specific, I need these people to message me what happened in your life. Show yourself. Yeah, we need um, a team. This, this girl said, imagine your first date and a man shows up on a bike in a full biker outfit, helmet included. Like a motorcycle? No. Like, like he's Tour de France. Cycling. Like, like he's, he's he is in, Lance Armstrong. He's Lance Armstrong. He's got pads in his shorts. That's well, what I'm envisioning. Are they doing like a hiking date? Or are they doing a dinner date? I'm assuming this is probably like a dinner date because I don't think it would be an ick if someone showed up on a nature date on a bike. You'd probably be like, oh, okay, that's fitting. I'm thinking that he showed up to like TGI, I TGI Fridays. I she, love me a chain. She <laughs> loves TGI Fridays. Ozzy Man, if you're listening to this, take no, her no, to no, TGI no, 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 don't listen to Alex. <laughs> Hot Ozzy, if you're listening to this, I don't want to be taken to TGI Fridays. Chili's, maybe, mm-hmm. not TGI Fridays. Um, yeah, I think that's full ick. That's yeah, full that, that would ick. be, I, 
for me, it's like if I'm if I'm taking the time to meet up with you to look cute, you can take the time to look like presentable or like show that you are like putting energy into the date and you didn't just roll up to the also date. just think it's weird. Yeah. Like just going to, well, to a me, dinner date. It's showing in that he was shorts. like he was like he had plans and he just like came straight from his plans and didn't really like set aside right. the time to like get it's dressed. like I have to bike ten miles yeah. and now I'm just gonna have a so little bit of a little bit of a little bit he didn't like prioritize your date. He just kind of like added on to. Also, I will say because a lot of people did say this, we'll wrap this up. M- male thighs. I don't like an exposed thigh. And I'm just thinking about a, a man like in a biker chubbies, short. The, you know, like the swim shorts that are like up to here. Any, I just, I don't want to see, I don't like seeing above a man's knee. Yeah. Maybe a little bit of upper thigh. But beyond that, I'm like, put that away. Yeah, it doesn't do much for me. So Like a hairy, pale thigh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. nothing worse. Yeah. Nothing worse, men. Put those bad boys away. Or put on tanning lotion. Jergens. 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 The subtle tanning lotion. You know what? I have a discount code coming for a tanning lotion. Is Ladies. It, is it Jergens? No. It's well, get, it's called Get Into the Limelight. Oh, yeah. The Las yeah, Vegas yeah. brand. I got a discount code. Look, support me. Um, okay. Well, that's it for any other icks you can think of, Alex Shea Willette. Um, no, we forgot. Uh, I mean, really, the toilet one was, like, my biggest okay. one. Or, like, a guy who, like, okay, okay, one more thing. Just kind of, like, going back to, like, a guy's apartment. Like, it's okay to, like, to, like, like, dust or, like, clean, like, one, like they're, have you ever, like, gone into a guy's apartment and the dust has been clearly sitting there for three years and counting? Oh, And no. it's, like, the skin cells of, like, whoever's Ew. been in that apartment. Must we? Right. Well, Must so I'm saying, we, like, the visual like, of I'm his not, crusty I, skin I cells. I am not saying, like, deep clean your apartment once a week. I'm just saying, like, sometimes, like, you might just want to, like, dust. Like, dust. I don't know. Like, Give it a wipe down. Just give, give just it a give generic your place wipe down. A wipe down every once in a while. You don't even have to have a duster. Just because, grab a paper towel. Right. Wipe that bad boy. Because girls it down. do notice like the smaller details where guys. Don't. Oh, okay. Speaking of my last one, I'm gonna end with this one. I swear. How many pillows do you think belong on a man's bed? Four. Real? Uh, I'd say minimum four. Minimum. Minimum. Because think you got two in the back that they sleep on. They've got two that come with like their comforter set. And I like the idea of a man who's trying to decorate a little bit. And he has like one decorative one. I have never like five. dated I think five. a man who had a decorative pillow on his bed. So <laughs> Really? Yeah. And I've gone on a lot of dates. So um, Four? That's I, feel just, like, I, feel like, four? I feel like girls are lucky to get two pillows on a bed from oh. a guy. If a man had one crusty pillow for me, I'd say I'm never speaking <laughs> to you ever again. Yeah, well, imagine imagine it being like two crusty pillows and skin cells everywhere. <laughs> like, <laughs> men in your hate, apartment. I hate the idea of men pillows. They probably barely like clean. Them no, I just like it. don't. I don't want to walk into your bedroom and see an exposed pillow. Like it has to have one in front of it. One. I don't want to see where your head lies at night. I don't know why it just creeps me out. That is because they're always lumpy. Always. Yeah, I mean, guys. Guys have pillows they're from just, like ten years ago. They're they lumpy. Use in college. They're they've got some stray hairs on them. They yeah. probably don't wash them. That's what I'm saying. They. Oh like, my god, vile! I'm gonna like, throw up. If you're listening to this, don't pee on the floor. <laughs> Dust every just once have in a hygiene. while. <laughs> and do, and wash your pillows. It's the very minimum. And have more than two. You don't have to have yeah. five. You don't have you don't have to go crazy and get a decorative one. Minimum four. Yeah. Four. Sure. Four. Okay. Four. Four. All right. Well, Alex, thanks for coming on this podcast. This one's going to be an interesting one. I'm going to listen back to this and be like, what the hell is happening? But <laughs> love that. You're welcome anytime. Thanks, I like that. I can only get you on the podcast when I buy you things or offer you my closet. But that's right. Strategic queen. Um, Alex, for those who know nothing about you and want to check you out on social media and figure out where the hell you are on, in the world, where can they find you on social? Uh, you can find me at at. Alex Shea will let. Yeah, I don't know why in high school we decided to make our Instagram handles our whole entire biological given name. I have no idea. Um, But like, yeah, there's our middle name. Yeah. I got everything. All right. I think Alex will let was already taken for me. So I just said, okay. Yeah, I don't know why I was like, I was didn't, I I was just extra. And I was like, whole entire name. (laughs) Morgan Lee will let. Call me Morgan (laughs) Lee. It's like, ew, disgusting. 
Um, yeah, that's it. Thanks, Alex, for coming on the pod. You're so welcome. I can't wait to raid your closet in approximately an hour without you whining Can you or leave? complaining. No, that's not going to happen. Can you leave the people with, I call my phrases Morganisms. Yours can be an Alex-ism. Yeah. Just one. <laughs> I'm scared what's going to come out of your mouth. <laughs> what's like one piece of life advice you can leave the listeners with as we conclude? <clears throat> My biggest piece of life advice would be do not allow yourself to ever be complacent with life. You are the most complacent no, person. Are you I kidding know. me? I'm the least complacent. I don't have a home. I'm constantly like I moving don't think around. I don't know what complacent, complacent means. Complacent means you're just like putting yourself in like a very comfortable box. You're in this comfortable like you have created this little world of comfort and you don't push yourself beyond that. Okay. I fine. feel like I'm constantly like trying new things and like doing new things. I'm thinking, sorry, I went to more of like a business standpoint, but the difference of you and I, I'm yeah. like work mode. I'm like, okay. Anyways. Yes, Alex, that's great life advice. Good. Yeah. By complacent, if you mean, am I trying to be a top CEO? flight attendant? No, no she's I not. Am not. No, she's not. <laughs> she's trying to serve that apple juice and get her ass to New Zealand <laughs> and skate on by. Hey, yes, ma'am. <laughs> And that's how we differentiate. Um, guys, thank you so much for listening to this chaotic <laughs> podcast. Um, as always, y'all know where to find me on social media. Go find Alex wherever she is. And I'll see everyone next week. Bye, besties. Thanks so much for listening to the Your Internet Best Friend podcast. It's been real. It's been fun. And I will see everyone here next week. In the meantime, do all the podcast things. Like, subscribe. Give me a five-star review if you please. And catch up with me on social media at Morgan Lee Willette. Bye, besties.